Hello, good day to everyone. This video is in connection to the previous video, which is the arithmetic sequence. Now, this we're going to tackle about finding the arithmetic means. So, let's take a look at the example. Okay, so our example is find three arithmetic means between 7 and 23. So, in this problem, we are getting the what we called arithmetic means. So this is also in connection to the previous um, video which is on the arithmetic sequence. Now to find the three arithmetic means, so when we say about means it is in connection to the average or um, the elements or the term in between these two given uh, given term which is or two given number 7 and 23. Now to get the means we need to identify what are the terms or what are the numbers in the second, third and fourth term if the given is 7 and 3 because in between so we're talking about between 7 and 23. Okay, let me just um, emphasize you this uh, the two terms, the 7 and we have the 23 okay let's get the given let's get first the given so we have here 7 7 is the first term and 23 is the last term or the fifth term or the a sub 5 so since the n is a sub 5 so we know that there are 5 elements in the sequence or in the set so our first term here is 7 our last term or the fifth term in the given sequence is 23 okay so these are the given okay so in order to get the means or the arithmetic means or the number in between we need to get their common difference or the interval between um, each sequence or each number now, in getting the difference or the common difference, there are two ways, but I want to show you the first way and then on the next video, I will be giving you the other way or the other techniques in getting the common difference so that we can get the mean. So, in getting the common difference, we will use the general term or the general formula for arithmetic sequence. Okay, so we have it a n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Now we notice that all given have values like n, a1, we have a1 or a sub 1 the first term and we have the last term except the one unknown which is the common difference which is useful in getting the arithmetic mean means or the next number so we need we need to get the um, the common difference in order to find um, the arithmetic means okay this is one way of getting the difference and I may give you another one on the next video on other technique so we need just to substitute all the values we have a sub 5 is 23 and our first term or a sub 1 is 7 plus the quantity of n minus 1 our n is 5 and then we have minus 1 and then we have our unknown here which is one unknown here which is the d now in order to get the d we need to evaluate this uh, equation so let's rewrite 23 and evaluate first work on the parentheses first Okay, add, so we have um, 5 minus 1 is 4 times D is 4D. Okay, so uh, applying the equation, 
Okay, the Nixon equation, we need to transpose um, 7 on the other side and make it make the sign negative. So, transposition po. So, balik po tayo dun sa topic natin sa basic on equation. So, 23 minus 7, that would be equal to 4D. So, again, okay, again, so what we did in the 20, uh, in 7 is we need to transpose it to subtract both sides by uh, 7. So, minus 7 here and then minus 7 it also. So, 7 would be eliminated on the right side and the uh, um, negative 7 would also be um, applied on the right side. Okay, so let's continue. So, we have 23 minus 7 is 16 and then is equal to 4D. So, in order to eliminate 4, uh, we need to apply an operation to both sides, which is we divide it by 4, both sides. Okay, so that 4 divided by 4 would be equal to 1, and 1 times d is equal to d. So therefore, we already have our value of d, which is the, which is 4. Alright, since, since we already know that 4 is our d, or, or our common difference, so we can now therefore say that uh, positive uh, positive 4 will be added to the first term so that we can get now the arithmetic means or we can do this uh, or we can do still this technique okay so we need to add 4 here add 4 and add 4 or we can get the okay we can get the first uh, the third and the fourth term or we can just add by 4 now, to make it sure, I'm just going to show you um, using the uh, the general term or the general formula for the arithmetic sequence. Okay, so we have it here. Um, we just uh, substitute all the value to get the second term, which is our a sub 2. So, we have it here since our end now is 2 because it's in the second term. So, we, we, we just substitute all the corresponding given values, which is um, 2 minus 1 here is 1 times our common difference d, so that's why we get 11. Or we just simply add 7 plus 4 to get the second term, and so on and so forth. Now, let me show you the um, uh, just other way of getting it. Okay, there. So we have it here. So for our um, a sub 3 or the third term, we just have to 2 times 4 because that's the our n there is 3. Then we subtract it, we subtract it by 1 using still the, uh, the, general, the general term or the general formula. So our um, third term is 15 and we have our fourth term as 19. Okay, now this is how are you going to get the arithmetic uh, means between the two given problem okay so we can now therefore say okay let's let's just erase that one okay so let's write our conclusion so we can say already that I'm sorry okay, therefore the three arithmetic arithmetic means are 11, 15, and 19. Sorry. Okay, so that would be our final answer. Okay. Okay, thank you so much and we'll see you to the next video. Just remember that this is useful in um, the next lesson also or discussion that we will be having. Now the next video is other way of getting the, the, the difference or the common difference. It's still an arithmetic means. See you!